Welcome back to another segment of Michigan Conservative Roundtable. Please like, share, subscribe, and if you can, hit that notification bell. My name's TJ, and I was compelled to do a follow-up to my last segment where I spoke about Cuba. I've seen some additional news reports and had some more thoughts on this topic, and I just wanted to share them with you guys. As I digest all these events, this whole situation smacks of hypocrisy. Hypocrisy on the part of the Democrats. For starters, you have to understand that the Cuban refugee, refugees are not the politically correct refugees that the Democrat Party would want. Allow me to elaborate. Look, look at the Mexican border. Look at the swinging appendages they let stay in this country that make it across that border down there. Then compare them to these poor Cuban refugees caught out on the open seas by the Coast Guard, sent back to Cuba, and you know what's going to happen to them once they're returned to Cuba. And then the protests here in the streets that are supporting the Cuban people seeking freedom. Well, the Democrat Party is accusing them of being COVID spreaders. Perhaps they need to employ BLM tactics themselves Maybe they'll get a pass then. Am I the only one to see the hypocrisy of all of this? And I would just like to remind some people out there, uh, the Cuban immigrants, they tend to lean Republican. Tisk, tisk. There's nothing new here about the way the Democrats view Cuban refugees. There's a history here. My thoughts go back to 2000, the year 2000 when a six-year-old boy, Elian Gonzalez, him and his mother fled Cuba, the boat they were in capsized, she drowned, he somehow survived, he was able to be uh, 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 connected to her family there in Florida, only for President Clinton and his Attorney General, Janet Reno, to employ a SWAT team to remove him from the woman's family, return him to Cuba, at which point, he became the poster boy of Castro's propaganda machine. I can't help but think how upside down this whole thing has become. They let MS-13 gang members remain in this country. Oh, and don't call them a criminal. Then compare that to these poor Cuban refugees seeking freedom, trying to get away from communism. Are they not truly the wretched refuse yearning to be free, only for them to get the felony treatment? Forgive me, but as I was connecting all these dots, I was compelled to do a follow-up. The more I thought about some of this stuff, the more it just irritated me. Had to, had to go on a rant. Pardon me. That's it. I've said my piece. My name's TJ. As always, be safe. Watch your six. And don't tread on me.